Greetings, friends. My name is Jim Orbe, and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Today is Holy Wednesday, and the Gospel reading is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 26, verses 14 to 25. This passage highlights the treachery of Judas Iscariot, one of Jesus' 12 disciples. And despite being among those closest to Jesus, Judas conspires with the chief priests to betray Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. The scene unfolds during the preparation for the Passover meal, a significant event in Jewish tradition. Now, every Passover celebration was a momentous event in the religious experience of a Jew. But this Passover would be unique for it marked the appointed time when Jesus would accomplish a new and greater redemption than that of the first Exodus. This was the year he would save his people from their sins. In this account, uh, Jesus foretells his betrayal, causing sorrow among the disciples who question their own loyalty. One can imagine their horror at these words. Never did it occur to them that someone within their circle would be capable of such treachery. You might ask, what might have motivated Judas to betray Jesus? Was it solely for monetary gain or were there deeper reasons at play? The 30 pieces of silver, according to scripture commentators, that in the Old Testament, this meager sum suggests the low esteem in which Jesus was held by both Judas and the chief priests. The height of disloyalty and betrayal is sharing a meal with a friend before turning on him. Let me ask you, how would you feel when you are one of his disciples and here Jesus tells his betrayal? In this Holy Week, try to reflect on the disciples' reaction when Jesus foretells his betrayal. How do their responses reveal human frailty and struggle with loyalty and challenging circumstances? And how, how does this passage prompt you to examine your own loyal commitment to your beliefs or relationships, particularly in terms of trial and temptation? Despite Judas's betrayal, Jesus still refers to him as friend. You can find this in other accounts. How does Jesus respond to Judas' betrayal? Offer insight into the nature of forgiveness and redemption. May this Holy Week fill you with grace as you reflect on God's word and think about the mercy and compassion of Jesus, even to those who betrayed him. God bless you.